So here's the full lineup. Season's best there for Carlos Mayo. 27 38 59, winning the Trofeo Iberica in Faro on the uh, Portugal's Algarve coach la early last month. Roberto Alice in there as well. <laughs> giving in Florian Cavallo his full name. Try fitting that on a bib number. Aris Kaya as well in there. Aris Kaya not quite in the same form as he was when he took two European cross-country titles, but still a man to keep an eye on as well. And this is a big, big field, 36 men. It's going to take quite some time. And look, Jimmy Gressier just darting straight out to the front. Here's Great Britain's Mohamed Mohamed, just five metres in arrears at the moment. But Gressier gets himself untangled. Sedaima Zenge of Norway up there at the front at this stage. Well, Gressier, 26 13 pace at the moment. He's not going to be able to carry on at this pace, that's for sure, because that would have put him in world record contention. But I'm expecting to see his personal best very, very substantially revised. So, this is a pacer who's been dropped into the race. I have to be honest and say I don't know his name. <laughs> Last minute addition from the local organisers. Gressier, well, Gressier out, out there. Uh, I think he one of the locally based Kenyan lads. Well, quite regularly we see national records. We saw one in the women's race from Stuartova, Czech record. I wonder if we're going to see any national records in this race. Well, the French national record, 27-22-78 to Antonio Martin from 1992 when he ran that time in the Bislett Games in one of those famous 10,000 metres in Oslo of that era. Well, Jimmy Gressier is not that far outside the French record at the moment. It's been a record that everybody's been tilting at for a very, very long time. So that French national record is just a fraction under 30 years old. So just behind the pacer and Gressier at the moment, we have Zarai Mezengi of Norway, Carlos Mayo and Jose Antonio Chiqui Perez up there. In Spain, they all know him by his nickname, Chiqui Perez. Not her, it's Juan Perez. It's Jose Antonio Ramos. Jesus Ramos. I'm getting the names wrong. Sorry. Clear it all up. Aras Kaya up there as well. And so too is the leading Israeli runner Ayala who's up there and this pace that early pace from Gressier has strung out the field everyone lined up in single file behind them so Mazenge Mazenge one of Ten men in this field who've run in inside 28 minutes, best of 
rythme, Zengue. Tall, long, lanky, striding Norwegian. Three-time Norwegian 10,000 meter champion. A really good pace at this stage being set. Just a bit behind the green wave lights that you can just see on the inside of the track there. And those wave lights have been set for 27.28. That's the World Athletics Championship qualifying standard. Well, this year no man in no man in this field has actually got that qualifying standard. European lead 27-16-18 by Yamani Bahan Kripa at the set in London just a couple of weeks ago. So you can see there Mazenge, Gressier, Mayo, Kaya, Perez, Ayala. Uh, second Israeli up there, Malade and Mohamed. Those are the three. Those are the eight men leading this race at the moment. And this is a very, very good pace indeed. Well, the cut record dates back to 1998. 27-14-44 by Fabian Roncero. Well, that's still the Spanish record. And we're talking about records and the French record. Gressier and his compatriots would all love to be able to beat. Well, Roncero's record has been around for 24 years. Now Gressier getting tumultuous cheers every time he comes into the home straight. There you can see. Well, not just the French flags, but the Brittany flags being waved as well. And Gressier now pulling away from Mazengi. Well, seven or eight meters between the Frenchman and back to the tall Norwegian, Carlos Mayo. Very confident at this stage. Carlos Mayo, personal best of 27.25 exactly. That's which he ran last year in the cup those are the sort of times i think we're probably expecting we're expecting a winning time maybe around the 27 27 18 27 20 mark that's a target time that does mean that well the women's cup record was a bit out of sight even for the exploits of yasmin chan but it's not beyond the bounds of possibility that Roncero's record from 24 years ago can be challenged. Now Gressier pushing hard. 18 laps to go. Amayo realizing the danger, closing the gap now. And Aras Kaya following him. So it's Gressier and Mayo. And these were two of the men that we were focused on in all the pre event previews. Kaya. Just out of shot at the moment, but he's not that far back. He's about 10 meters back on this leading pair. And then we have Juan Perez. Well, this is great pace. 2.43 for that second kilometer. So Gracier, Mayo, Mayo up on the shoulder of his French counterpart. These men know each other pretty well. They've had some battles on cross-country races as well. Kaya now come back into contention, has got back up with them. I'm just wondering what sort of return to form Kaya's having. Two-time European cross-country champion in 2016 and 
avec Carlos Mayon qui avait annoncé hier qu'il voulait qu'il allait chercher euh, la gagne de la course, mais en fait il est venu chercher un tout petit peu plus que ça. Lui aussi il va aller vite. Well, aussi. it's his namesake Ali Kaya, si who has the Turkish record at 27-24 from 2015 at this rate. Aras Kaya, very capable of challenging for that. So it's Mayo now bringing the pace. Mayo just said his one objective this year, he's not focused on time, is to actually just win this cup for Spain. Well, Spain, of course, a whole slew of previous champions, the last one being Antonio Abadia in 2017. They dominated the early years of the cup. Roncero winning in 1998, Alberto Garcia 1999, Jose Rios 2001, Chema Martinez 2009, Sergio Sanchez 2013. I think I've read through all of the Spanish winners in this race. Mayo third last year. Well, there's already about 80 meters gap between this leading trio and Mazenge of Norway who showed at the front during the first couple of kilometers. So we're coming up four kilometers past and this is a terrific race and great running from this leading trio. Four kilometers done, six to go. 10.58.18. And at the moment, well, it may well be Israel who, who've actually just got the edge on the team title. They've got two men currently running inside 28 minutes and a third not that far away. That would be a little bit of a surprise. French also running a, well as well. We haven't seen much of him in this race. You can just see right the way back, almost 100 meters in arrears, the main chasing pack in amongst them Juan Perez Florian Cavalho well today of Ireland since we've been mentioning some national records the Irish 10,000 meter record, 27.39.55 by Alistair Cragg back in 2007. But we're adrift of that at the moment. But a good second half of the race. Gide, hugely talented athlete. Well, Ephraim Gidei made his mark, came through for a bronze medal in the under-20 race at the European Cross. Lots of observers on the Irish scene think this is a hugely talented man. So it's still Jimmy Gressier forcing the pace at the moment. 27.20 pace. So 65, 66 second laps being ticked off. Carlos Mayo just tracking him. Mayo done a little bit of the work. But it's been Gressier who's done the bulk of it over the course of this first five kilometers. Just coming up to the halfway point. There we go. 13.42.56. So it's a really good pace over this first half of the race. So that's uh, almost exactly 27.25 pace. Now Gracier really working hard. Mayo. Once again, Gracier surging, putting a few meters between Mayo and Kaya. Mayo just edging to his right. Kaya coming through on the inside. 
Well, Aris Kaya. Personal best of 27.48.53. That goes back to 2015. Kaya looks as though he's regained some of the form that we saw from, well, three, four, five years ago. Wasn't desperately impressive when he ran a 10k in Herzegovina Rausch last month. 29.20 on the roads at that event. Hasn't run inside 27 minutes since 2015. So he's really, this is a really surprising run from Kaya on current form, but he has the pedigree from a few years ago. But this is all about Jimmy Gressier now pulling away. He's really thrown down the gauntlet. And that French record could well be in danger now. You've just got to... The feeling that with probably about 12 minutes, maybe a bit less of running, that Jimmy Gressier might even be able to nip that record of Antonio Martins, which has stood for almost 30 years. Kaya behind him. Well, just there's a bit of a grimace on his face, but that's how he runs. It always looks as though he's tortured. But he's holding his form at the moment. His running style is still very fluid. Carlos Mayo in third on his shoulder, but that's about 80 metres between Gressier now. Well, Gressier has come here in great form. And the crowd is starting to get just a little bit excited. Jimmy Gressier coming through. 10 laps to go, 4,000 metres. 16.28 and he's well inside 27.30 pace at the moment. Well, Gressier, on paper, one of the slowest men in this field. But we know what he's capable of. Took the bronze medal. In Dublin last December, when he finished third behind Jakob Ingebrigtsen in that terrific European cross country senior men's race. Very accustomed to running 10,000 meters on the roads. He's only run a handful of 10,000 meters on the track. Well, Gressier, 17.35 at this point with nine laps to go. It's just slowed a little bit. Mayo's closing the gap very slightly, as you can see, but Gressier's still pouring it on. Now starting to lap runners. Well, we saw this in the women's race. Well, O'Leary doing the right thing, moving out into the second lane to let Gressier pass. And very soon it's going to be Mayo coming up on his inside. Gressier. Well, that's a slightly slower last lap as he's coming through. He's just is he just tiring very slightly? Well, it's not unusual for 10,000 meter runners to come through a bad patch. He's Pace has just eased back a little bit. Mayo now, as you can see from that dynamic pacing chart on the left-hand side of your screen, roughly about 40 metres in arrears. At one point, it looked as though he was 70 metres in arrears. Has Mayo timed his race just that little bit better? Kaya now. Well, we haven't seen too much of it, but just really dropping back for third. Just a little bit of drift now of Carlos Mayo in that battle for, at the moment for the silver and bronze medal. Well, let's take a look down the track. Ah, we just missed it. Just coming out of screen a little bit. 
And behind them, a whole slew of runners on for many, many personal best times. But it's still Gressier. And now the French crowd starting to bang on the banners. Get very excited. Going round the first shot. The Spanish runner. Well, I'm glancing out onto the track. I mean, we're focusing on screen on Jimmy Gressier, but I can tell you, and you can see it from your chart, that both Ephraim Gide and Florian Cavallo have been moving up and running really well in fourth and fifth place. But Gressier is still at the front now. After seemingly going through a short bit of a bad patch, he's now really back into his stride and powering it on. So, for my money, less than seven minutes of running still to go. He's got the French record in his sights, I feel, at this stage. Six laps to go. Almost exactly 21 minutes as he went through the finish line there with six laps to go. And I just wonder what will be going through his mind if he comes up. And he's reaching the penultimate lap. In possibly 26-15, 26-20. You must think that there's... French record will be on. Let's keep an eye on that when we get a bit closer to the finish line. If he goes through the bell in 26-20, that French record could be on, let alone the fact that he will be defending French honour and following the footsteps of last year's winner, Morad Hamdouni. But at the moment, Gressier well, wonderful demonstration of running. Almost as convincing as Yasmin Chan in the women's race. There's Mayo a long way back in second. Just overtaking the Swedish runner, David Nilsson. He's overtaken his own compatriot as well. Bufarjat. And at this stage, it's looking as though with three men in the top six. The team title is going to France as well. France, of course, won last year. Have won in the past the team title as well. 27, 2010 on home soil in Marseille. So. Five laps to go. Indeed. Four laps to go, it is now. Well, at the moment, he's just a bit outside that French record pace. I'm sure he's going to start picking it up in the last kilometre. And he really is whizzing around these laps. Mayo, well, about 100 metres more or less behind, and then another 20 odd metres back to Kaya. It's looking at this stage as though those three men are pretty solid for all the places on the podium. One, two, three. Now it really is just about time. Mayo just looking very pained indeed. Well, he's been racing a lot. He won the Iberio American 5,000 meters title in Alicante last weekend. Not necessarily the quickest of times, 13.38, but it was very, very hot t conditions there. I just wonder whether that just took a little bit out of him ahead of this race. Jimmy Gressier 
Well, what a superb run from the Frenchman. He's prepared so well at this stage. So he's just coming up with a kilometer to go. And he's starting to speed up again. Gressier, 24.38.99 with one kilometer to go. So he's just a little bit outside French record pace at the moment. I think he's looking at a finishing time of around 27.30. But he's going to get roared on by the crowd here. There's no doubting who they're applauding. You can just imagine what the noise is going to be like if he's still in this position, pumping his arms as he comes down the home straight in just under three laps time. He's had a busy season so far. Ran three indoor races, 5,000 metres just two weeks ago. That was really just a sharpener for this and a very good 10K on the road to take the French title, 27.41. But he's looking as though he's even going to run faster than that personal best on the roads here. And he's really starting to pour it on now. Well, he's 500 metres to go really needs to be looking at around 26.20 if he's to have a fighting chance of that French record. I think he's just going to be a bit outside of it. Let's just see what that time is. He hears the bell. As he hears the bell, it's about 26.24. I think that French record is just going to escape his grasp. But this is going to be a fantastic performance from Jimmy Gressier. Gressier now 25 years of age. Well, he's won European titles at under 23 level on the track. He's got other medals to his name from continental competitions. Now this is the big problem. He's just running into traffic. It's not going to stop him winning, but it is slowing him down. There's no doubt about that. It's looking now as though the pa pace is not going to make that French record. Sadly, I'm certain of that now. He's not going to do a 12 second last 100 metres, but he is going to produce a fantastic performance. He's trying hard though, he really is doing his level best. He's only going to be just a few seconds outside that French record. 27, 24, 50. Well, I think that's probably the second fastest time ever by a Frenchman. And it is the European Cup to Jimmy Gressier of France on home soil here in Passé. Well, Carlos Mayo, well, the crowd were not cheering for him, but Carlos Mayo just coming home in silver medal position. Everybody is looking at Jimmy Gressier prone on the floor. Carlos Mayo takes silver, Aras Kaya the bronze. That's the one, two, three. And Jan Scrub, a fantastic last lap there to come through in fourth place. Looks like Ephraim Gidai. Fifth or sixth. <laughs> well, Jimmy Gressier, not just a personal best, I make it the second fastest French time ever. There we go. Roberto Alice. Well, we know who the top finishers are. Ooh, I think that means the team title does go to France. Emmanuel Rudolph coming through in 11th place, 28.06.28. I think clinches the defense of the team title for France. Well, disappointing run there for Jesus Ramos. He was looking to get inside 28 minutes. Mohamed Mohamed, I think, probably looking to run a bit faster as well, as was Johan Kowal after his very good run in the French selection trials, the former European steeplechase champion. 
but up front it was an absolutely phenomenal performance.